Now question number 129, nomatophores occur in. Now nomatophores, they are respiratory roots which are present in halophytes. Now halophytes, they are plants which grow in marshy areas where water content is also high as well as there is high salt concentration which decreases soil aeration. So how the roots they will respire if soil aeration is less? Yes, some of the roots they come out of the soil, they become negatively geotropic. They come out of the soil just for the purpose of aeration. That's why you call this root as aerophores. They are respiratory roots or you can also call them as nematophores. So the right answer for this question is option number one. So now moving to the question number 130 now. Plants having little or no secondary growth are, now you know that secondary growth it occurs with the help of a lateral meristem which is known as cambium and in the case of monocots cambium is absent. So grasses they, they are monocots so here secondary growth would be absent. So the right answer for this question is option number 1. Yes, we can also look at the other options here, conifers, cycoids, they are gymnosperms and in the gymnosperms secondary growth is present. Deciduous angiospermic plants, if they have cambium, they can also show secondary growth. So now moving to question number 131, Casparian strips occur in. Casparian strips, they are thickenings which are made up of subarin and subarin is a substance which is hydrophobic. Now these strips they are present in endodermis. So the right answer for this question is option number 3. So now let us discuss question number 132 now. Now question number 132 is formulated from the topic anatomy of flowering plants. Secondary xylem and phloem in dicot stem are produced by, you know these are secondary permanent tissue uh, formed by vascular cambium. Now coming to the first option, apical meristem. Apical meristem is involved in the formation of primary permanent tissue. So it is out of the scenario. Yes, vascular cambium forms secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Axillary meristem, again it is involved in the formation of primary permanent tissue. Phallogen, yes it is cork cambium. Yes, cork cambium is also involved in the formation of secondary permanent tissue but not xylem and phloem. It is involved in the formation of corky layer. That is why it is known as cork cambium. It means the right answer for this question is option number 2. So now let us discuss 133 question.